One of the things that a lot of people are having trouble understanding is why this is coming from you and the VPD. Mm -hmm. Why you commissioned this report, why it wasn't done in partnership with the province, why it wasn't done in partnership with the city, and what benefit it provides to the department. It's a great question. So you have to remember that in policing we're in a very unique driver's seat and perspective on the world. And as members of the Vancouver Police Department, we know every street, every back lane in the city. We know all the problem buildings. We know all the service providers. We talk to people in crisis hundreds of times every day in the city. We're out there 24-7, 365 when nobody else is. You do have fire and ambulance out there, but we're dealing with, if you took all the calls for fire and ambulance and combined them and then doubled them, we would still be out there for more calls for service than all the other service providers combined. So. We have a unique picture uh, on the roller coaster of life on what goes on in this city and deal with crisis situations all the time. And we deal with all the different elements of the system that help people in crisis and help people in need. And we see the gaps with the front seat, driver's seat uh, view to that. And you know, a lot of people always tell me, you know, they'll drive down East Hastings Street and they've driven by there a thousand times, but they've never actually gone into a back alley. They've never actually gone into an SRO. They've never walked down a hallway at two o'clock in the morning in some of the most dangerous and you know, poverty-stricken buildings in our city. So we've got a unique view of the city that nobody else does, very unique. And it's also consistent with history and that we have put out reports like this in the past and I outlined them. So Project Lockstep, um, lost in transition, multiple renditions of that, opioid crisis reports, and people had said to us at that time, well, why are you looking at mental health? And why are you looking at the opioid crisis? And why are you looking at the downtown east side and the lack of coordination in all the systems? The reason is because we've got the best view of it of anybody. And we talk to people on the street every single day. So we've got a really interesting perspective on it. It's consistent with what we've done for the last 13 years. It's consistent with what we said to the Special Committee Reforming the Police Act. It's consistent with what we said publicly. And quite frankly, the other advantage we have as police is that we're not political entities. I don't report to any politicians. I don't report to the City of Vancouver. I don't report to the province of British Columbia or the federal government. And what's interesting about our consultations with about 30 different entities is that many of those other groups that we'll talk to, our government ministries, are from um, civic uh, entities, our people in community that are funded by government sometimes, and they are agreeing with our findings and the things that we're unearthing. But they can't speak up publicly because they're connected to political entities. To me, it doesn't matter who the government of the day is. I'll just call it how it is and be quite frank about it, and that's what I'm doing.